Hey, hey, what is up, everybody? It's your boy Beat Nuts. Hope you're having a great day. Hope you're doing what you love. Um, we are back with another tutorial vid, and I got a special one for you guys for today. So I asked a lot of you guys on Twitter um, what you guys would want to kind of see for the next tutorial and everything. Because I like doing beats here and there, too, as well. But I feel like, you know, and if every producer could up their melody sauce. I've been getting a lot of quests about the samples and stuff like that, too. So. I came here just for you guys <laughs> with that today. So um, I'm going to be showing off one of the uh, samples that I'm actually going to be putting in my next pack here. It's going to be like this really dope soul, soul sample kind of deal. Um, I'm going to add like try to my best to make as make it as pretty as I can. To, <laughs> um, and that way, you know, people who can hear this type of stuff and just be like, "Ooh, I could I could chop something off of that. I could I could catch a vibe. I can add drums, you know, do all that crazy stuff right there, too. So. I'm super excited to show you guys uh, also get to show you guys a little bit of my process and kind of my sauce and everything too as well if you want to see more of this kind of stuff from me or anybody in the gang please 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 drop comments and stuff like that down below I saw a couple of comments on the other last couple of videos and everything and uh, people seem to really really like the tutorial so uh, if you guys like it enough um, I'll definitely be doing another one of these so let me know down below and make sure to leave a like and subscribe too as well so let's get right into the sample so I'm gonna show you guys a preview of it really quick first and then we're going to kind of break down into how I kind of got into that particular sound and all the kind of stuff that I did. So here's the sample. So here we go. Beautiful, just absolutely gorgeous, just absolutely gorgeous. So um, let's get into kind of the breakdown of this sample and how I kind of got into it. So um, the first thing I started off with was uh, I was messing around. Um, I was on Omnisphere and I found this vintage 1964 string orchestra, which uh, no, honest, I'm honestly not really sure where I found it. I think I just went through the view all and I was trying to find vintage or something like that. I was going through these sounds and I found this. really beautiful kind of like stuff really really just beautiful like sounding and uh i really wanted to kind of go more into like a laid back kind of vibe so i was messing around with some chords and i landed upon this thing here and actually uh this is it with with effects so let me take the effects off Really cool, really breathy, really airy. Um, so I think I started with F sharp. So I went F sharp, F sharp minor. One of the great things about these chords and everything and soul chords is uh, like if I got rid of this stuff, right? That just by itself, even if I go lower, oops. Even if I start lower over here, I yeah yeah. Stop! Oh my. Okay. Kind of like a, I don't know. It reminds me of um, flashing lights uh from from Kanye West. I don't know if I was listening to him or something like that too, but I don't know. I just found this chord set and I was like, ooh, this is really nice. This chord just by itself. It's actually a F sharp, F sharp minor. And instead of putting the E at the top, making it kind of more of a major chord, I actually put it down. And then what I also did was after I did that, I added a, so I added a two. And for my music nerds out there and stuff like that, that's usually referred to as a ninth, essentially. So um, this makes it into, I believe, again, I'm not 100% sure about these notes and everything too as well. <laughs> I just did it because it sounded good. But extensions, extensions are very, very important. And what I mean by extensions and everything where if I were to take this note and put it 
down an octave, so down 12 um, semitones, I would get uh, this G sharp that's right here. Where if I played it kind of in this crunched up space like this, I mean, that sounds cool, but like at the same time, I kind of, I was looking for more of a higher kind of pitch thing with flashing lights and everything. And it has this very high pitched, uh, I guess, violin or viola or whatever. Um, so I decided to put it back up. I could do, you know, maybe put this up instead. That's not really the vibe that I'm going for. So instead, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna kind of put it on there for like an extra texture essentially. But yeah, so that's how I kind of came up with these chords. What I did after that was uh, I went to effects. So what I did with this particular one, put a sound goodizer on it to give it some more extra flair. Let me kind of do it one by one so you guys can hear the difference. So um, ready your ears with sound goodizer. So just give it a tiny bit more high end, not too much because then it might click or, you know, do some random shit. And then I decided to do this stereo enhancer. Really make it like more spherical around your, your brain and everything. And then after that, um, I actually decided to give it just a tiny little bit of side chain because um, when I when I thought of flashing lights, I thought of like the the kind of pump sound that it gives and this is what a lot of uh boom bappers and stuff like that do too with their drums so if they ever find you know particular samples and everything that kind of fit that pocket um i figured oh why not make it make the melody itself kind of pump so here's what it is without the pump here's with the pump I think uh, that just makes it makes that just gives a vibe to it. <laughs> so <laughs> um, after that, I decided to add just a little kind of EQ, take out the lows and everything. But I want I didn't want to purposefully, you know, worry about too much with the EQ and everything. I just kind of want to take that middle range out of it. So did a little bit of panning too as well, some stereo separation just for more sauce. So after that, what I went into was uh, I decided to go into kind of like a, a melody was what I was going for. So as soon as I started hearing this. And just already with the strings and even the rim and stuff like that, this is why I encourage you guys to put percussion in your background, but don't use it in your sample. Um, because then you could, your ideas are already start thinking of like, You know, producers just usually tend to, you know, come up with beatboxing things, ideas in their head. So um, definitely encourage you guys to put that in there because it really helps a lot. Because once I struggled on my piano for like ever, um, I finally landed onto this, uh, this uh, melody right here. And I came up with this. And so with the strings, and this is literally just uh, like FL, FL keys, roads, um, but this is with effects and stuff like that too. So I kind of gave it a little sparkle. Um, here's with it without, just playing, you know, roads but it's still important with the melody. So what I decided to do uh, to give it some more, you know, oomph was uh, I took that, gave it some reverb, obviously. Put a little bit of sound goodizer on it. And I also ran into this effect rack here where I found this radio Vox kind of spread effect here. It sounds like raindrops just hitting every single little tiny thing. Pretty, pretty crazy. And then after that, I just uh, decided to EQ uh, some 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 crazy frequencies that I wasn't really vibing with. Some of those little clicks and everything, I just took out a little bit, a little bit of the high end too as well to make sure that it's not going too crazy against the, uh, the platinum. And uh, after that, I would just went ahead and bounced it actually and pitched it down a little bit and it got this.
did some more EQing, you know, more depth and everything, and came up with this crazy ARP. <laughs> so now, with everything, now I have this. Already off to a great, amazing vibe and start. I thought the strings by themselves were like crazy, but then that arp and everything really filled the space with this kind of whoosh. I don't know, <laughs> with the with with the water, I guess you know the drip of the sound. Um, pretty much after that, I uh, went ahead and added a Rhodes too as well. So I took the same FL key Rhodes and everything, just copy and pasted the same chords. Oops, and uh, use the same effect too as well. which uh, actually landed perfectly because once I got to this part. And then pretty much the piece of resistance was uh, just adding the bass. My favorite bass, as many of you guys know, is uh, the uh, flex bass, actually. So whenever I can't uh, use my real bass or anything like that, I actually had to kind of tune it a little bit differently. Um, but I just couldn't catch a vibe and also... I suck at bass. Um, whenever I can't find a bass guitar, I go to Flex, and this is one of the free packs that they have where you can get an essential guitars and an essential bass guitar. I always like to use the BB Flat Wound Tough like this one. It's very, very close to sounding like an actual real bass and everything. So then once I had all those melodies and everything like that put together, I decided to go with uh, this bass here. So here, here's where the pattern I came up with. Really, really cool. I wanted to kind of give it a little bit more oomph, so I just did a little bit of uh, an EQ right here. I, I, I took off a little bit of this part right here too as well, and um, put this uh, compressor on it. Gave it some a little bit more vintage. Put it into mono, and now it sounds like this. And that sounds very, very close to like a real bass that you'll hear with a, a lot of uh, 1970s time, 1960s, and everything too as well. And you know they really really like their basses so so make sure you have a good bass line um for me personally i actually started this sample a lot with uh my uh strings and everything their first which was a first for me but again there is no rules to this music shit so you know do whatever sounds good do whatever you know trust the process as much as you can um but yeah so after that i had pretty much this entire thing I really hope that you guys got a good idea of, um, you know, sampling and stuff like that too, as well as, you know, making kind of vibes that are close to this. Um, I'm definitely going to be working a lot on this kit so that way I can make more tutorials and stuff like that for you guys. Um, so if you guys really, really like this, um, let me know because I actually might be able to grab somebody's vocals and see if I can show you guys this tutorial with, uh, you know, kind of get really into that, that, 1970s funk you know era and everything too but this was more on the uh meat and bones kind of side of sampling and everything and making your own samples so i really really hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial again let me know if you guys want to see more i really really appreciate you guys um and look out for the new kits let me know what you like most about the sample and let what you know what you want to see more of um down below in the comments so i will see you guys later hope you have a great day do what you love and peace